who asked me to plan two weddings like who sent me to plan two weddings it's a lot um and i feel like i'm in the thick of things and i'm in the deep end with what's been going on Good morning guys or good afternoon wherever you guys are my name is Nadine and thank you guys for tuning in to a brand new video so as you guys can tell by the title we are continuing the wedding series so I'm currently planning and prepping for my second wedding so for those that don't know I had a traditional wedding that happened last year September 2022 and currently now we are in February 2023 I'm a 2023 bride so I'm planning planning my white wedding slash church wedding which is happening in August 2023 so the wedding series continues I'm gonna film all the wedding contents all the prep all the behind the scenes footage and all of that good stuff so I thought I'll make a quick video basically updating you guys on what's been going on what I've been doing where I'm at with the whole wedding process it's been crazy it's been a lot who asked me to plan two weddings like who sent me to plan two weddings it's a lot um and i feel like i'm in the thick of things and i'm in the deep end with what's been going on but i'm gonna give you guys an update on what i've been doing so far so we are yeah in the planning processes um and i have a few things planned and booked and paid for but I'm not there yet guys I'm literally almost halfway through planning the whole thing so at the moment I currently have a photographer booked and deposit paid I have a venue booked and paid for I have a um, what else do I have I have my decor company booked and deposit paid for I have my what else? I've been looking for a wedding dress. I haven't got my wedding dress sorted yet, but I'll be telling you guys all about the wedding saga in this wedding series. It's been very, very stressful, but we'll get through it. It'll go to plan and things will start coming together. And let's talk about makeup artists and hair because I don't know what I'm doing in terms of finding an MUA and finding a hairstylist for this wedding because it is so hard to go and find someone to do your makeup for one because obviously what you see online what you see on Instagram the makeup looks amazing but how would it look on my face and I don't want to pay for a trial and not go ahead and use them so I'm kind of like Ugh, I don't know what I'm doing so I have a MUA in mind but I don't want to book her and then she does my trial and I don't like how she does my face so it, it's just a make or break kind of situation if you have the worst makeup artist for your wedding it will literally ruin your whole entire experience and I don't want that for myself because yeah we don't have time for any mistakes for this wedding so um anyway i'll show you guys about the whole process with finding muas and my hairstylist i even don't know what to do with my hair if i want to wear a wig if i want to wear my natural hair out i need to basically go back to the drawing board and figure out what i actually want to do in terms of this wedding um but it should be fun i hope this wedding series um captures every single moment of the whole planning process what we go through how we prepare what we do what we don't do what we want and what we don't want um, I just hope it captures and it helps those trying to plan a wedding in the near future if you guys are looking for like inspiration or how to do things how to book for things how to find vendors I hope this wedding series will help um, I think my mom's calling me one second guys hello so as I was saying um, yeah I really hope this wedding series actually helps you guys if you guys are thinking about planning a wedding and all of that I've been getting so many comments and so many questions about how do you plan a wedding where do you source material where do you source dancers 
where do you get your vendors and all of that so with this wedding series I plan to show as much as I can um, in terms of how I source things and how I source vendors because I'm actually planning this wedding myself I am not getting a wedding planner or anything like that I do plan on getting a wedding coordinator but not a wedding planner um, because I planned my traditional wedding myself and it was actually a great success um, so I thought why not plan for my next wedding and not actually get a wedding planner so yeah in doing these videos hopefully it can help those that are in London who are planning a wedding and how to source vendors how to go about um, getting like a budget um, going to get like cheap stuff or things within your budget and not doing too much for your wedding because I don't plan to do too much for this wedding I am on a strict budget so yeah we'll be showing all of that in this wedding series I am super excited to be continuing my wedding series episode situation saga on the on my youtube channel so in today's video i'll be showing you guys some viewings that i went to when i was looking for a wedding venue i'll be giving you guys the location the price of the venue the capacity of the venue and basically giving you guys a tour of each venue that i go and see so that if you guys are looking for somewhere to hire for your wedding you guys can you know take something from this video um, and also in this video i'll be showing you guys my first ever dress shopping experience when i went to go and find a dress for my wedding so i'll be showing all of that in today's video i hope you guys are just as excited as i am in filming this wedding series so um as part of the whole wedding prep and everything that i have to do and prepare for the wedding my fiance and i are also going to do marriage counseling uh before we get married so pre-marital course or marriage counseling before we get married i haven't managed to source out or find the best place for us to actually do the marriage counseling for us so i'm in the middle of finding the best suitable people or person to actually sit down with us and do a marriage counseling but yes i got a few questions or people asking me if we're going to do marriage counseling and the answer is yes we're going to do marriage counseling we haven't started it yet as we haven't found the right person or the right people to do it for us but we will be doing marriage counseling also we are having like a church ceremony for our wedding um i mentioned it previously in a q a that me my fiance did that he's catholic and i'm seventh day adventist and some people were asking what are we going to do in terms of which church we're going to get married in so my fiance and i sat down we had a discussion we had a conversation um and we decided that we're going to get married in a catholic church if that's possible so obviously the catholic churches have their rules in terms of if you can marry in their church if you're not a catholic person so we need to basically figure that out and sit with his church and see if they'll marry us if they won't marry us then obviously we're going to get married in my church he's happy to do that as well but i am happy to go and get married in a catholic church so that's the first um place we're going to go to and ask if they can marry us um in terms of how i feel about that because i know someone asked me how do you feel about the whole catholic and sda situation and your kids how are you guys gonna navigate all of that so um a little bit of backstory i'm actually seven day adventist my mom's seven day Adventist. my siblings are seven-day Adventists. however my dad is catholic so i grew up in a seven-day adventist slash catholic household my dad would go to Cath to church on a sunday my mom will go to church on a saturday so we basically grew up in that sort of an environment and we navigated it um as well as we can um so i would go to church with my dad some days i would go to church with my mom some days um and then when we reached the age of 18 or so we decided to then pick a church we would like to basically be part of and our parents allowed us to make that decision when we were older and that's basically what we're going to do in terms of how we're going to you know raise our kids we're going to take them to a catholic church we're going to take them to an sda church and then when they're older they can decide which church they would like to belong to so that's basically how i grew up and that's basically how we're going to navigate the whole catholic and sda situation um because i know someone um had a question left a question like that in my comment section so i hope that 
I answered your question but yes we are going to get married in a Catholic church if it's possible and we are going to do both Catholic and SDA for our kids um, and then they'll decide which one they would like to go to once they're older um, so yeah we're in the thick of things in terms of marriage counselling finding a church and a priest or pastor to basically do our ceremony um, but yeah it should be fun it should be so much fun um, and I hope you guys enjoy this wedding series wedding series part two I've got so many things and events going on so I will have a bridal shower I'll be having a hen do um, and I'll be having like small events here and there which I'll take you guys along with me um, so you guys can see what I basically do in terms of the wedding and everything leading up to the wedding um, wedding dress shopping venue finding cake tasting food tasting everything i'll show you guys in this series so let's get started and let's have a look at the first venue that i went to view and i hope you guys enjoy <music> guys and welcome back to this week's vlog as you can tell by the title we are going to find my wedding dress so it's time the time has come for me to go out and actually find my wedding dress trying some dresses for the first time and find my actual wedding dress that I'll be wearing next year 2023 as I get married so today is Saturday the 26th of November 2022 and I have a consultation at a bridal boutique at 1 p.m. It's currently now 11 a.m. and we are getting ready to head out and head to London to go to the first store or the first boutique um, to try on some wedding dresses and hopefully find my wedding dress. So I don't know if I'll find my wedding dress today but I will damn sure will try on a lot a lot of wedding dresses to make sure that I know in my mind what kind of wedding dress I want so I have an idea of the kind of wedding dress that I'm looking for I don't want a tight wedding dress I want the whole princess look I want it to be huge I want the train to be huge so that is the vibe that I'm actually going for um, so hopefully we can find the one if I find the one today great it saves me a lot of time to going shop to shop to shop so if I find the one today great but we'll see so today I'll be going with my mum my sister-in-law 
brother-in-law and my sister they're all coming with me to help me find my wedding dress guys it is that time um yeah so i haven't even been excited all week i knew i had this appointment booked but i haven't even been excited until today until i woke up and i was like okay today i'm gonna actually go and try on wedding dresses and hopefully find my wedding dress that i'm gonna wear but yeah it's just kind of hit me and now i'm excited i haven't been excited i've had this booked for the longest time but today's the day it's the day that i go and try on wedding dresses and kind of figure it out but yeah anyway let me let me not go on for days but i am um, yeah we're gonna go find my wedding dress so yeah let me finish getting ready let me get my bag together actually i have something to show you guys i've just received a parcel from um a company so i'm just gonna unbox this with you guys and show you what they've sent me it's a gifted parcel so i'm gonna show you guys what's inside so let's get that opened okay so this arrived this morning no but guys why is my sister being annoying let me say that again so this arrived this morning um it's a gifted package from a company that i've worked with before so let's open this up and see what they sent me what did they send me so this is a, pa a package from anna luisa i previously did videos with them on my other youtube channel guys on um anita and nay youtube channel so go check that out but I haven't done any videos with them on this channel. But they sent me a package. And I'm going to see what it is. They're so nice. They're always sending me stuff. Like I've got so many um, bracelets, necklaces from Ana Luisa. And they're like so good. Oh, not one, not two, but three items. Okay, okay. I need to see what's inside. <gasps> I love Ani look at this necklace so they sent me this beautiful necklace okay so the next one what else did they send <gasps> Sagittarius no this is cute I think I'm gonna wear this one okay Sagittarius yeah. okay so the last one what they send me yes child look at this bracelet look at this chain look at this look at this i think i'm gonna wear this definitely today this is cute yeah, yeah? yeah. this is cute but yeah so i'm gonna do a proper video um detailing all these items telling you guys the prices and all of that in the next video that you guys will see um but i'll link it in the description box below but thank you anna luisa for sending me these cute items you guys are amazing um but yeah look out for that video where i actually mention the items and give you guys all the details but yes it's time for us to get going and head out and go to london to buy my wedding dress okay period shining so we have found Delphine and we are walking to the bridal boutique now um, so yeah guys boutique number one 
first of many hopefully not <laughs> but yeah let's see what this one has to offer if it's got the gems if it's got the good dresses involved in them i feel like it's so weird when you're vlogging outside i feel like everyone's just looking at you it's weird no isn't it awkward everyone just be looking at you you're used to it so you can just you're used to just holding the camera like this and walking not that you've done it in a long time but you know we're never gonna see these people again so. <laughs> Um, okay. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Yeah, this is oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, because yeah. 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 I like the under. Um, yeah. 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 Yeah, it's yeah, the one you're yeah, looking at. Yeah, 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 y
And then we're gonna pick this one as well. So. Let me quickly show you guys my outfit. So this is the jacket I'm wearing and I'm just wearing a casual jumpsuit from PLT. Obviously I've injured my knee, so I'm wearing a knee brace. And then I'm wearing on my feet some boots. And then obviously my bag. And this is basically what I look like. So we are currently waiting. So our appointment was at one o'clock. Is it in it? One p.m. Um, we've picked our dresses, but we're waiting. Do you want to try on? Yeah, there's more dresses down here. Okay, so I'm going to cover it. Um, it's not going to be full length here because it's too big. Yeah. Okay. So, what did they say about this kit? They we can change it, I think, yeah. into a, a more nude, okay. a more brown nude. I like it. And how much is this dress? That one is 17. 17. And do, is, is this part of the rental collection or not? Yeah, yeah. This one's part of the rental collection. How much is it as a rental? So to rent it, it's uh, 800. 800. And with the adjustments, if I wanted to rent it, well, that's that, not possible? That's going to be a bit more trickier. Okay. Okay. So dress number one. What do you guys think? It's beautiful. It's really nice. Score out of 10? <laughs> it is... Is there anything I don't like about it? I don't know. What do you guys think about the dip? I like it. You like it? Here? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, it's actually see through at all. Yeah. Um, no, because if, if, if I have to find a bra that doesn't obviously show, yeah. the day. Bra it's not bra. Or it's no bra. You have no bra. Yeah. It's only caps. Yeah. Okay. So you won't see anything it's fine. Oh, this is really nice. Maybe there's the puffy dresses. Well, I need them. Yeah. I think a lot of dresses are going to suit you. Yeah. A lot of dresses are going to suit you. Mom, you said you didn't like it. It's going to be one to big, to be honest. Yeah. Is it falling like this? It's good. This is very cute. I love. I love the. <coughs> I like the sleeves like this as well. Do you like, you like that detail? Somewhere? I like the sleeves like this. Yeah. And mostly. I like the way. I like the way it like shimmers like the. Yeah. It's similar to Delphine's though, isn't it? Because the arms. 
Yeah, but Delphine's a bit different. But your yeah. one was a bit bigger. Wasn't yeah, it was bigger, bigger, but the top, the top design is similar. So it has, it's progressive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Yeah, so it's got the progressive thing going on. Yeah, so it's not. Yeah. yeah. So there's Touch. that to see to see from it, like what you like, if you like it or don't like it. Uh, you don't like the white lace. No. We know that. And how there's, do you feel about the sleeves? There's not. All? There's not a lot of it's shimmer. Sure. You like? You don't see <laughs> so much shimmer, isn't it? Yeah. So, it's too, like I'm gonna do that. Like, yeah. Rip. Um, and here I don't like this bit. No. You don't like that no. bit at all. Okay, even if it was um, done to your skin tone. No. Okay. And then the back. How do you feel about the see-through lace? No. You don't like no, that. You no. like that. You don't want to see anything. No. Okay. No. No. All right. Next dress. Eva, I, no. yeah. no. <laughs> I love this one. Oh. I told you it was gonna yeah. be nice. Now I'm here. You didn't expect it, did you? Wow, this is nice. I love it. This is so nice. This is so nice. Oh, it's still on the balance. Oh, what the hell? That's so nice. This dress is nice, isn't it? This is very nice. Are you training out of it after yeah. uh, going to like a party? Are you wearing high heels? Yep. Mm. I love the train as well. I love this extraness. Even yeah. though it's a simple dress, I think this makes it. Yeah, it's given, yeah. And that makes it extra. Yeah. Mum, what do you That's think? It's completely different. It's completely different, yeah. Mom. It's nice. But where's the butt coming? Mm. Is there a butt coming? Yeah. <laughs> you like it, but? I like it, but that blinky blinky one. <laughs> she likes the blingy one. But you like this one as well? This one is nice. I like it. It's beautiful. Right. Well, with this one, you can add bling bling with jewelry or headpiece or a belt. But I don't think I'm going to belt. I wouldn't put belt there. But your veil as well can be. But it would be veil, a very, yes. It, it can be very well veiled with that. But mm. this one is different. It's very nice. It's very, uh, it's yeah. different. Nobody, nobody it's giving Victorian time well. mm. Yeah. It's, it's giving, giving um, what's that thing? Bridgerton. Bridgerton. <laughs> yeah, it is actually. Oh, I like it though. How much is this one? Let's get the details. <laughs> that one, to buy it, 1600 and to buy it, for eight. Okay. Higher is eight, sixteen hundred. Um, to hire it is perfect for you. You know, if you want to hire. What so is this a ten as well? Yeah. Okay. Then that's absolutely. It's giving. It's definitely. It's, just it's giving just budget. Yeah. This one is nice and they give it a good trade. Right, guys. So <laughs> the appointment. <laughs> Imagine. No, no. They, they need to have the feedback. So. Guys, we just basically finished our appointment, the consultation. We finished. What time is it? So they know the timeline. Uh, two two o five. five, and we didn't start trying on dresses till past half one, past? like half half past. It was definitely after twenty five past. Yeah. So we're gonna give you guys our honest opinion about this place and our experience <laughs> and how we felt about it because yeah. we gotta just tell you guys the real tea. So, Delphine, what do you what do you think about it first? First impressions. It's very it's very small. Yeah, but that's not a problem, it being small. Um, it just doesn't wow when you walk in. Yeah. The selection of dresses that are on display, you don't say, oh my God, that was first and foremost. Yeah. yeah. And um, the staff, um, I don't know, I didn't feel like I was in a nice, elegant bridal store, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, lighting, yeah. smells or anything like that. It just felt like another corner shop. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> no, another corner that. shop, child. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's my no, that, I, To be fair, I got the corner shop vibes when we walked in. Yeah. The first time I saw it anyway. Yeah. But yeah, honey? I feel like it was, uh, yeah, what, like she said, it was small. And it definitely wasn't giving bridal, and it was like digging for gold to find like one yeah. nice dress. Do you know what I mean? Luckily, we we, we found okay dresses. But yeah. Oh. Yeah. It wasn't the best. Let's not lie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, not me. 
many choices anyway. There's no many choices of dresses in that place. It's not really nice and wow wedding dresses, you can say. Yeah. So it's better if we look for another place. Yeah. yeah. So obviously, guys, um, I went to this store because they can rent dresses as well as buy dresses. So I wanted to see what that was all about. Uh, so you can rent, you can buy. I'll link the prices and all of that in the video. But yeah, my personal experience, mm, it didn't give what it's supposed to give okay it didn't give what it's supposed to give so we're on to the next one to the What's next appointment huh it wasn't very clean which one it wasn't very clean and they didn't offer oh they didn't the place offer yeah hotel. yeah no, they didn't provide, yeah, they didn't, they didn't no provide us water yeah like no water i no mean there was some on the side but, but we went like to, we didn't know if we can have it or not yeah uh, and then the carpet was dirty. There's only one dressing room, so they can only do one bride at a time. Yeah. The there was a random girl in <laughs> there they have, they have a child, child like a teenager thing. or something. <laughs> in there. The in the corner. <laughs> and um, yeah, so that it was a bit strange. I didn't know, you know. It was a bit uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, yeah, the images online are different to what is actually. So professionalism is not very, um, it's not up there, unfortunately. Yeah. But you guys on to the next one yeah. and we'll take you guys along to that one hopefully it gives more than it gave today so let's go Woo.